So find a comfortable seat. You can sit on a blanket or a pillow or a block. It might be nice to have a block or a thick book handy if you'd like to use any props to support your practice. And close your eyes, bringing your hands to your knees or your thighs. Start to take a couple of deep breaths here. Grounding through the sit bones. On your inhales, lengthen through the spine. On your exhales, feel a little more grounded into the earth. And take a deep breath in and start to roll the right ear to the right shoulder. As you exhale, bring the chin back down through center, inhaling over to the other side. Just take this back and forth a couple of times. Bringing your chin back up to neutral. Taking your hands to your knees and start some circles with the torso. Feeling the grounding energy of both sit bones on your mat or your blanket. And feeling the articulation of your entire spine as you move in these circles in one direction a few times. feels appropriate switch directions going the opposite way again feeling that grounding energy through both of your sit bones moving with the breath your inhales and your exhales will start to come back to center Bring the hands together at your heart. On your next inhale, extend through the fingers all the way up, gazing up at your hands. On your exhale, bring your fingers wide all the way down to the floor. Keeping your right hand on the floor, extend your left arm up and over, gazing up under the arm or perhaps looking down, depending on how your neck feels today. Switching to the other side. And then take this back and forth right to left Let's inhale to lift and exhale to lower next time you're over at the right side extend your body forward reaching your fingertips toward the front inhale to lengthen exhale to lower into a forward fold lifting up walk your hands toward your legs we'll lean back slightly and switch sides so bringing the leg that was in back out into the front inhale the arms extend exhale bringing your left hand to the floor reaching up and over with your right inhale back to center exhale over to the other side and again moving with your pace of breath back and forth a couple of times next time your left hand is down roll that right shoulder forward coming a bit again back into that forward fold lengthen inhale exhale to release and gently lift yourself all the way back up coming to a seated position We'll scoot the legs back, coming to tabletop position. Before we begin our cat cows, tuck your toes behind you, sitting your hips down to your heels, just opening up through the knees, the feet. Then untuck your toes, inhale to lower the belly, lift the tail, exhale, rounding into cat. And continue at your own pace. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Adding more movement to this on your next exhale, lower the hips down to the heels. Inhale, scoop the heart forward. Again, exhale, rounding all the way down, hips to heels. 
forearms touch the floor as you inhale, scooping the heart forward. One more time. Coming into child's pose, separate the knees to a comfortable distance. Let the big toes touch. Extend your arms out in front of you for Uttita Balasana, extended child's pose. We'll create a little mini flow to open up through the hips and through the front of the body, creating a slight back bend. So extend the arms out in front of you. As you lift the hips, lift the feet with your big toes touching, lower the hips down, coming into a back bend. Exhale, come back to your child's pose, knees separated. Inhale, coming forward, lift the toes, lower the hips, back bend. Exhale, back to child's pose. Inhale, into your back bend, toes are lifted, shoulders back. Exhale, back to child's pose. Inhale, lift, back bend. Exhale, coming back to a seated position for a moment and then bring your hands to the floor. Walk them forward just a couple of inches. Tuck your toes behind you, lift your sit bones, come into your first downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a couple of breaths to warm up this pose. And then step your feet forward to the top of the mat, inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, release into Uttanasana. Inhale to rise, palms touch. And bring the hands down to your heart. Hands come down by your sides, Tadasana pose, mountain pose, feeling the grounding energy through the feet. Inhale, arms reaching up, half sun salutation. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Rooting down, rise all the way up, palms touch at the top. And bring your hands down to the heart. Inhale to rise. And exhale, diving forward. Deep breath in, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. And bring the energy down to your heart. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Deep breath in, lengthen. Exhale, send the left knee back all the way down to the ground, Anjaneyasana. Hands come to your hips as you lift the heart, sink into the right knee. Draw that right arm behind you, the left arm follows. Hips moving forward, heart lifted, maybe the chin lifts. Reach your right arm forward and up, left arm forward and up. Bring the palms together, maybe look up at the hands and then rock the hips back. Bring the hands to your heart, flex the right toes, gently pressing the top of the left foot and the right heel into the floor. Inhale, rocking forward, hands lift. Exhale, rock it back, hands to heart. Inhale, plant the right foot, rising up again, arms reach. Hands come down to frame your front foot, step the right foot back, plank pose, holding plank steady here for a moment. Rock the body forward and back on the toes. And come into your downward facing dog. Step it forward to the top of the mat as you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise, arms reach up, palms touch. Hands come down to the heart. Let's take it to the other side. Inhale to lift. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lifting. Exhale, right leg lowers back. Lower the knee to the floor, untuck the toes. 
Sink the hips forward, draw that right arm back, left arm back. Gently press the arms into the back as you pull the lower belly up and in. Reach the right arm forward, up, slightly back, left arm follows, palms come together. Bring the hands down to your heart as you press off that left foot, rock the hips back. Creating a little flow here, inhale, plant the left foot, reaching the arms up, exhale, draw it back. Inhale again, rising forward, low lunge. Bring the hands down to the floor, step the left leg back, plank pose, lower the knees to the floor, deep breath in, exhale, lower chest, chin. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose, draw the shoulders back, pick up the hips, downward facing dog. Step to the top of the mat, deep breath in to lengthen, halfway, exhale, fold. Rising all the way up, bring the hands down to the heart. Inhale, reaching up again. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway. And send the left leg back, lowering the knee to the floor. Arms reaching up again. Right hand goes to your hip, left arm reaches forward. Cross the left elbow to the right knee. Palms come together and shift the heart up toward the hands, option to pick up the left knee up off the floor. Hands come back down, framing the footstep back to plank pose. Lowering into low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep in mind you have options for all flows or none. Always your choice. Stepping to the top of the mat, Find that length, inhale, exhale, release. Rising up, hands come down to the heart. Other side. Inhale, reaching your arms up high and dive forward. Lengthen. Release, stepping the right leg back, lower the knee to the floor. Anjaneyasana, arms are reaching all the way up, hips moving forward. Left hand goes to the hip, right arm reaches forward, cross the elbow to the knee, palms come together, twist your heart to the hands. Again, option to pick up the back knee, extending through the heel and the back of the knee. Untwist, bringing your hands to the floor, step the front foot back. Moving through the flow of your choice, meeting in downward facing dog. Stepping to the top of the mat, deep breath, inhale, exhale, release. Inhale to rise, maybe a back bend at the top. And hands come down to the heart, Tadasana. Virabhadrasana 1 is next. Inhale to reach. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees deeply for chair pose, Utkatasana. Arms reaching up for modification. Bring your hands to your heart. Lower the hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, stepping back into the flow of your choice. Again, a meeting in downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, stack the hips, lift and lower the left heel. It's getting into the back of that leg. Bring your right foot forward, ground through the left heel, rising up into Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1 pose. Shoulders relax down, engage the left thigh. Arms reach wide, clasp your hands behind you, lengthen on the inhale breath, lean forward on the exhale, Humble Warrior. Arms can reach up and over, or you can have them closer to your back for modified pose. 
Slowly bring your arms all the way back up into warrior one. Pivot on the left toes, lifting the heel. Hands come to your hips. Lean forward, bring the back knee up toward the heart. Arms reach up high, inhale here. Soften the standing leg. As you bend your elbows, send the lifted leg back. Send the arms back, Virabhadrasana three. Warrior three. Soft bend in the standing knee will help with balance. Shoulder blades moving toward each other, press through the lifted heel. Lower both feet to the floor. Inhale, arms reaching up. Exhale, diving forward. Utkatasana chair pose. Bend the knees, arms reach all the way up. Modification, bring them out in front of you or to your heart. Lift the hips, lower the hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway. Plant the hands, step back into plank. Inhale here, lower the knees, modification, chest, chin. Coming into Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Peel the hips up, downward facing dog. You can move through any version of those flows that feel organic to you. Left leg lift, stack the hips, lift and lower that bottom heel a couple of times and bring the left foot forward, grounding through your right heel. Arms reach up, Virabhadrasana, one other side. Float your arms wide, clasp your hands behind you, deep breath in. Lead with the heart as you gently draw the left hip back, leaning forward, grounding through your right heel. Slowly bring your arms all the way back up into warrior one. Pivot on the right toes, lifting the heel. Bring your hands to your heart. Lean forward, bring the right knee up toward your heart. Arms reach up, exhale, elbows float back. Lifted leg extends through the heel, Virabhadrasana three. Rotating the lifted leg, thigh toward the floor. Internal rotation. Both feet touch the earth and Tadasana. Make a couple of breaths. Inhale to rise. Exhale, forward fold. Lengthen. Release, planting the hands. Step it all the way back to downward facing dog. Option here for a flow or pause here for a couple of breaths, resetting the foundation of your downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, stack the hips, bring the right foot forward, ground through the back heel, finding Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Extend out through both fingertips of the hands. Reach your right arm up into Exalted Warrior, still bending into that front knee. Come back to Warrior 2. Bring your hands to your heart, pivot on the toes, bringing all toes facing the side of your mat. Inhale here, exhale, forward fold into Prasarita Padottanasana. Option to grab your big toes with your peace fingers, closing the bind with your thumb. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands right under your nose. Dig into the heels as you turn your toes to face out for goddess pose, Devyasana. One hand to each thigh, coming up with a straight back. Arms reach all the way up. And exhale, sitting down into goddess pose. Inhale, extend, straighten the legs. Exhale, take a seat. Inhale, extend, reaching your arms up. Exhale, bend the knees. Arms extend out, getting a little fluid through the torso, the arms. Tailbone moving toward the floor. Lower abdomen engaged and drawn in. Extend through the arms and legs. Pivot on the feet for warrior two facing the front. Windmill the hands down to frame your foot. Step the right foot out toward the long edge of the mat. Lower the knee to the floor, the left knee. Bring your block if you have one. Lift through the heart. 
Option to lift the back knee up off the floor, getting into the thigh and the hip flexors a little deeper. Pivot the right toes out at an angle, left hand stays, reach back for the left foot. If the left foot isn't easily available, you can keep your right hand on your right thigh, gently taking it into a softer twist. Bring yourself back to center, plant the hand, step the right leg back. Option here to move through a flow or again, pausing in downward facing dog, experiencing that pose as its own beautiful asana instead of a transitional pose. Left leg lifts. Bring the left foot forward, grounding through the right heel. Virabhadrasana to left side. Left palm reaches up and back for exalted warrior. Float the, home, the hands back through center. Straighten the left leg, turn the toes to face the side. Again, Prasarita Padottanasana. Forward fold, wide legged. Bend the right knee, come back to center, bend the left knee. Come back to center, turn the toes out again, heels in, Devyasana, goddess pose. Bend the elbows, bend the knees. Inhale to reach up, exhale pivoting on the feet, Virabhadrasana two facing the front. And mill the hands down. Lower the right knee down, left foot walks out toward the long edge of the mat. Untuck the toes or option to pick up that back knee, getting into the front of the right thigh and hip flexor. Turn the left toes out at an angle, option to bring the left hand back to your back foot. Square the body forward again, plant the hands down, step the front foot back. Downward facing dog. Lower the knees to the floor. Big toes touch coming into your balasana, child's pose. Take a couple of deep breaths here, breathing into the back, the belly. Maybe rolling your forehead, rolling your head from side to side. Let's go into that flow again. So lower the hips down. Big toes are still touching. Lift the chin. Exhale, rock the hips back, child's pose. Inhale, hips rock forward, arching the back, lift the chin. Exhale, lower the toes, lower the hips. Again. Come down to the belly, bring the legs a little closer to each other, elbows on the floor, toes are untucked, flattened on the floor. Lift the hips and look down to where your feet are. Holding steady here. Gently lower the hips, coming into Sphinx pose, energetically pulling the elbows back, bringing the heart forward. Hands come under the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift up into plank, back into downward facing dog. Let's come to a seated position. Extend the left leg out, keeping the right foot drawn in toward the body. You can have your block if you'd like to support your elbow or your arm with the block. Otherwise, reaching that left arm all the way toward the foot, maybe to the inside of the leg, wherever you can reach. Draw the top shoulder back as you extend the right arm up and over. Bring the hand to your low back as you look down. Inhale, reaching up, look up. Exhale again, hand moves back, looking down. Inhale, reaching up. Release that side bend. Turn to face your left leg. Right arm crosses over, coming down into a forward fold. Extended leg is active, foot is flexed. Lift up out of the forward fold. Lean back and simply switch sides. And 
reaching for your foot or the inside of the leg, rotating that top shoulder back. Inhale, looking up, reaching up. Exhale, pivot the back of the hand to your low back. Look down at your extended leg. Inhale, reaching up, looking up. Exhale, reaching back, looking down. One more time, looking up. Come out of the side bend, turn to face the leg, cross that opposite arm over, deep breath in to lengthen, exhale forward fold, aligning your torso with your extended leg, engaging that thigh and flexing the toes. Lifting all the way back up, bring the soles of the feet together. I'll give you an option here to place your feet on a block Feet are a little further, further away from the body. Creating a bind here by holding on to the block. This gets into the outside of the hips a little bit deeper. If this is not comfortable, lift up out of the pose, remove the block, place your feet back down on the floor, bring the soles of the feet together and come into your forward fold. Baddha Konasana. Forward folds are calming to the nervous system and cooling to the body. Gently lift yourself up out of the forward fold. Extend both legs out in front of you, pressing the back of the legs into the earth, feet flexed, inhale to lift, exhale, coming into your, pros your Paschimottanasana. Find the length, inhale, exhale, come back into the pose. Release the pose. Find your way about halfway on the mat so you can lower all the way down to your back. Extend the legs out in front of you for a moment. Take a deep breath in. And then bend your feet again, bend your knees, place your feet on the floor, pick up the block, place it under the hips, right down by the sacrum, so lower than the lumbar spine, higher than the tailbone. It should feel supported. An option here to extend your legs out in front of you, getting a deeper opening through the hip flexors of the thighs, the front of the hips. If this does not feel good, gently bring your feet back toward the block. Deep belly breaths. Slowly walk your feet back to the block. Another option here is to make sure you're stable on the block and lift your legs up for a deeper supported inversion. Slowly lower both feet to the floor. Lift the heels, lift the hips, remove the prop from under you. Slowly imprint your spine back down onto the ground. Draw the knees into your chest. You can do a couple of circles here or side to side. And then hold on to the right knee as you draw the knees over to the left side. Right arm extends out to the floor. You can turn to look over that extended arm, or if it's too much for your neck, you can continue to look straight up toward the ceiling. Bring your knees back up to center. Rock from side to side and then hold on to the left knee with your right hand as you take the knees over to the right side, extending your left arm out on the floor. Release into the ground, letting your body accept this twist. One more 
breath. And bring both knees up toward the chest, extend your arms and your legs, circling your ankles, your wrists. Draw the knees into your chest, giving yourself a really big I love you hug. And extend the legs out in front of you, arms down by your sides for a final relaxation for Shavasana pose. Palms facing up. Take in a deep breath through the nose. Let it go with a big, long, audible sigh out of the mouth. Your body knows exactly what to do at this point. So just relax and receive all the benefits of your yoga practice. Feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. If you're ready to come out, bend your knees, roll over to your side, gently lift yourself up, coming to a comfortable seat. Honoring all of your efforts in your yoga practice. Giving yourself a moment of unconditional love. Thanking yourself for your dedication to your health and well-being, body, mind, and spirit. Namaste.